Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with the report as we get set for the top of the seventh. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. He said it's been quite a show that they put on at the plate today, and not just in terms of hits and runs. Yes, they have a ton of hits, but they've also only struck out two times. That's a rarity in the sport these days, but it also seems to be a winning Your formula. Attention, please. All right, now Heidi, thank you. Number 64 gets Number the call 64. from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Digging in, Daniel Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Daniel Murphy. And the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly by Belt, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Ryan McMahon. At the plate, Ryan McMahon. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Duggar going back on it, but it bangs off of archway number one. And he had two on his mind, and that's what he'll get as he's in at second base with a one-out double. Up next for well, he's certainly not shy, is he? He goes up there looking to be aggressive and takes a big rip right here, squares it up and lines it for a double that goes all the way to the wall. Great work out of him. In now, Ian Desmond. Line towards center field. Pilar is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting. Number 58. Stepping into the box. Number 58. Runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch. Lifted the other way to left center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Sometimes it's hard to explain the when a game is this lopsided. One. A lot of things Kyle. just kind of snowball Ooh. on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Pitcher Kyle Freeland so far two for three in this one. First offering on its way. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the Ladies inning. Rockies do get a run in the ridiculous. inning on this RBI Seven, double. Get up and stretch. Red. It's the Rockies eight and the Giants nothing. Striding in, Brandon Vega. No well, hits for him to this point, not the unlike many of his fellow teammates. Brandon. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. One ball and one strike to the Giants' first baseman. The 1-2. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. With how hard guys throw these days, now 94 it. miles an hour is good, baseman. but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional Ron hitters Doria. can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Standing in now, Evan Longoria. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. No hits to this point. Hit to third. Arenado has it. On the first, and a sigh of relief as Longoria is retired easily for the second out. The center fielder, number one, Kevin Perlon. So two away now in the San Francisco seven, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pilar. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. McMahon onto the grass. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. They're on the short end of an eight-nothing score. Turns over and to the plate. Charlie Blackman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. A solo shot here to straight away right field as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason so we waited stayed back and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Trevor Story. Trevor Story. As he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. David Dahl struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field, but sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Nolan Arenado. Scramming in for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. But the Rockies add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo dinger. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rockies nine, and the Giants nothing. Now with the plate, Brandon Crawford. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The one two. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The right fielder. Time to take a look six. at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can Gugger. be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns.
one gone here in the Giants half of the eighth and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Duggar. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Ground ball sent back up the middle. McMahon fields it cleanly and safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge the was ball. enough to beat the Number throw. 19. And that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And here's a fastball called for strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And you know, now guys, if this bat doesn't break, please. it's probably a double play ball, giant. but that just wasn't Number happening seven. here. Good job to make sure of one, though. Duggar stands at second with two gone. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. Ladies Number and 50 is ready, and he'll take please. the ball from the manager. Now pitching for the Giants. Number 50. Standing in, Daniel Murphy. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Daniel Murphy. First pitch on its way. Liner towards second. Again, a nice clean base hit. His third of the game. Now that second baseman. Ryan McMahon striding into the box Ryan McMahon two hits in four attempts to this point. From the stretch here's the pitch swing and he pops him up. But this will land untouched. This one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Up next for Colorado, the center fielder. Even though that pitcher was able to execute yes. in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit sharply toward the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Now about it. So stepping number in, 58. number 58, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar's there. And he makes the catch for the second out. So here now is the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. First pitch of the at bat. 
And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, number five. Way to go. Starting well, things nice. for his side in the, the ninth fielder. as they face the number improbable five. odds yeah. of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A bouncer up the middle, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we'll get late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. The one two. And another foul ball. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great pitch. command, great Brandon. location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. In now, Brandon Belt. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0 2 pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. A ball and two strikes now. The 1 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1-1 one -one home. High chopper to third. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Next to bat for the Giants, Kevin Pillar. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. One ball, no strikes to count. Two down, runners at first and second. Last strike here for the Giants. Still one and two. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw to first here will be in time for the final out. And the Rockies get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. A 9 nothing shutout final in this ball game. The Colorado Rockies get the win on the heels of four home runs. Kyle Freeland is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.